Here is a big secret. Can you guys believe that there is a stove which is nothing to do with the economic outlook or outcome of any elections? The pet business. The pet industry has been booming, boosted by record pet ownership rates and work from home practices for many of us. Today's story is the number one company of the pet paradise, Chewy. Chewy is an online retail platform for pet foods and other pet related products. In one sentence, Chewy is where pet lovers shop. Chewy is in an enviable position even if the economy worsens going forward. How attractive it is! The reason for Chewy's bright future is because they are playing a winning game. Chewy's business model is a composition of pet market and subscription. That's the point. But Chewy did not stop at there. They go farther armed with technology. Then let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This says our channel is gaining lots of subscribers. Thank you all guys. Then today, I will show you the company that I'm really really sure about. Guess who was the best paid executives in the US? The usual suspect top day the list of best paid executives was Tesla's Elon Musk, with a 2090 payday of nearly $600 million, followed by Apple's Tim Cook at $134 million. The top 10 also include bosses at Intel, Alphabet, and Blackstone Group. But this list did not contain one surprise. At number 5 stood 1. Sumi Singh. CEO of Truist Incorporated, an online retail of food, toys, apparel, and medicine for pets. Singh joined Chewy in 2017 and was elevated to CEO after 7 months. 2019, his first full year on the job earned $108.2 million in salary, bonus, and stock grants. The sum was even more remarkable given that Chewy, in 9 years of existence, has yet to post a profitable quarter. Founded in 2011, Chewy is an online hub where you can purchase animal supplies for your furry friends from the comfort of your home. It's basically Amazon for pets where you can easily browse more than 1,000 high-quality brands, finding what your pet loves easier than ever. It was April 2017, PetSmart paid $3.35 billion for Chewy in what was then the largest e-commerce deal ever. It was totally a shock since the price of the deal was higher than the Walmart's acquisition of Jet.com at $3.3 billion. It means the online platform that sells the pet's item was far expensive than what sells human items. Some likened Chewy to Pets.com, a notorious failure of dot-com era, and predicted it was ultimately for a victim of competition from Amazon. However, Tree has been made a huge growth from then. On June 14th of 2019, Tree clanged the bell standing at the New York Stock Exchange's famous podium. Starting from the sound of the bell, the company shares start trading. While going public may have been a boon for the Tree's only shareholders, it struggled in its first year on the stock market. After dividing at $36, its share price stagnated for a year as profitability seems increasingly out of reach. Then it came to 2020, the big year. Thanks to the pet lovers who'd rather take delivery than head to the store, the online pet supermarket is now worth nearly $30 billion. Unlike so many companies that have been slammed in this age, Tree has seen its stock price soar as customers have shifted more heavily to the online existence. Since the start of 2020, don't be surprised, Tree shares have jumped from about $30 to more than $67. For the quarter ending August 2nd, the company saw net sales of $1.7 billion, a 47% increase over the same period of 2019. Clearly, we've been one of the benefactors of the trend, Tree CEO Sumi Singh said in an interview. The year 2020 has hit the country and the world. Tremendously hard, but it's been a good from the business standpoint and tremendous for growth. We are not happy about the situation, but we're proud to be able to serve pet parents. 
In some ways, Tree is reminiscent of young Amazon with a ferocious focus on long-term growth and expansive short-term profits. To me, the story of Tree is one of taking a beautiful startup and scaling it to become a world-class institution, says Singh, himself an Amazon alumnus. I believe that we have a clear path to profitability in the not-so-distant future. So we're building something amazing here. The more playful commented that Tree has grown so big, so fast, despite plenty of e-commerce competitions, thanks to a single focus in the pet category. That's why Tree win over Amazon in that specific category. Amazon has everything, but Tree has selective and specialized items for only our pets. And they also analyze that there is a lot of room for Tree to keep growing in the future ahead. And let's see the numbers. The pet food and supplies market was $56.1 billion last year, and it was expected to grow over 5% annually for the next five years, according to the American Pet Products Association. In summarized, people love their pets, and pet spending data from the Great Recession, when the market continues to grow year after year in the U.S., suggests Chewy is in an enviable position even if the economy worsens going forward. How attractive stock it is! Can you guys imagine the stock which is indifferent from the fluctuations of the economy? Voila! Here it is! As it sounds Chewy, the stock is really really Chewy. To top it off, e-commerce is capturing an increasing portion of category as time goes on. The online channel accounts for just 7% of spending in 2015, but that figure more than tripled to 22% by 2019, according to Packaged Fact. That trend was expected to continue long, but the year 2020 kicked it into overdrive. Without further ado, let's sum it up. Chewy is one of the best performing strokes and sales. Chewy is fascinating because they added up two most promising business models, the pet category and the online subscription model, and the futures. Then let's get into it. At first, pet, friend, and family. About two-thirds of US households have pets, and their coddling owners, as Chewy called them, pet parents will spend a record $99 billion in 2019, and it is expected to increase over 5% annually till 2024 to around $122 billion. As Shui called pet owners as pet parents, the pet is not a possession anymore. Pets are one of our best friends and families, especially the millennials who live and grow with pets. They do not treat the pet as animal but a person. They call the pet sweet names and spend money on pet food, snacks, clothes, toys, and comforts. That is what Chewy is for. For targeting the niche and specialty, Chewy determined to outdo Amazon in serving customers. They treat the customers as the pet's parents from they started up. Chewy write down every pet's name and birthday. Whenever they got called, Chewy answered warmly calling with pet's name. They treat our pet as a child. And customers receive greeting cards on their pet's birthday and flowers when their pet's giving birth. Adding to that, this is one of the surprising presents. Those who emailed pet's picture were sent free hand-painted portraits. It was all from the beginning about wowing customers, Cohen says. We can't surprise the customers with a portrait, and all of a the sudden they are the customers for life. And that leads to customer loyalty. Furthermore, their customer service is outstanding. When a customer called, a representative says hello in 6 seconds. Email were answered within an hour. And massive orders replaced without question or cost. The CEO Singh said the retailers continue to see strong demands for pet products, despite the recession. He said new pet owners need supplies such as dog beds and crates. And he said customers are actually spending more in some categories, such as treats and toys, as they spend more time with their pets. We treat pets like family, so that is not a category that you can generally cut spending in or you think about cutting spending in. He said, 
when you're rationing budget, that is likely the last category on your list that you do it in. The second, superb subscription. In this day and age, convenience is the key. That's why subscription is the most promising business model. While pet parents can purchase food, toys, and supplies, they can also subscribe to regular deliveries of items they use repeatedly. And that is the key. Tree saw two quarter of record active user growth, and now gets more than two thirds of the 70% of its net sales from subscription named AutoShip. On one hand, AutoShip is highly beneficial to the customers. Tree provides exclusive savings to the customers who enable AutoShip features. I mean, you can create a custom recurring order for the products your pet use frequently, like food and treats. Tree offers a 30% discount when you set up an AutoShip, and then 5 to 10% recurring orders for the 30 popular brands. And on the other hand, to the tree itself, AutoShip can build a solid profit stream, and that can make the company to estimate the demands of each item. So that is good for the stock management. Top of that, tree well know that customer loyalty is the most important for the subscription model. So they harness on the part of customer service. As I mentioned already, the surprising and wow present can touch the customer's mind and lock them in their service. So a business insider said that Chewy will know how to handle two-legged and four-legged customers. Adding to the convenient shopping and shipping features, Chewy has created a handful of watch and learn video tutorials that can found at the bottom of the page. These videos cover topics like transitioning our path from wet to dry food, how to prevent ticks and fleas, and how to keep our pet from getting bored with their food. These informative videos led the customers to take good care of their pets and added up customer loyalty. Some says that people cancel the tree service only when their beloved pet cross over the rainbow bridge. Tree sent a fresh bouquet of flowers and handwritten note to their house within days of the cancellation. Tree cares for all of their customers and deeply understands the minds of pet parents. And the last one, Tree Pharmacy and the Virtual Vet. The year 2020 means really a lot to the business and also to our lives. Many have been used to staying and working at home without visits. I mean, we are now familiar with the virtual itself. That's why I have been dealing with lots of videos about data centers and Zoom. Here comes the reason why I want to feature Chewy and share with you guys. Following the trend that the world of pet healthcare keeps expanding, Tree offers the latest example of it. Tree Pharmacy and Connect with a Vet. Then let's start with the Tree Pharmacy. Tree started its pharmacy service two years ago. Tree has added compounded medications to its catalog of prescription drugs sold directly to the pet owners. Pet parents can buy the compounded drugs which were only possible with the prescriptions. But at Chewy, you can buy them directly. Chewy amazingly simplified the process. VP of the Tree Healthcare said that, by making this type of medication more widely available, we want to better serve pet parents who need a customized solutions in an otherwise limited marketplace. And the company has signaled an interest in burdening its relationship with veterinarians. In the future, the company plans to expand its offering to veterinarians who can utilize the service to provide compounded medication options to their in-clinic customers. That's why David, the upgraded version, connect with a vet. Tree's expansion of its telehealth offering is consistent with its investment in relationship and customer engagement. The AutoShip program, for example, generates 70% of companies' net sales. In a world of uncertainty, qualities like trust, convenience, and customer service really matter. 
especially when it comes to the caring family or loved ones. Whether they are people, pets, or both, Seo Sime Singh said. We have taken these millions of customer relationships and built a large vase repeat business that enables our rapid scaling and fuel our profitability on an accelerated timetable. As empowering as all of this is, we are just getting started. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn the alarm on. And I will hop around the world bringing lots of thousands of funny stories to you guys. See you with the other great, great, great stories. See ya!